Hey everybody, it's Sharon from Wrinkle Helper. How are you guys doing today? I wanted to talk about mint. Uh, mint is an herb that I grow in my garden. It's uh, This one is happens to be spearmint, but we know that spearmint is in a lot of gum and um, you know, it could. there's a few places that it can be in our, our personal products. It could be in shampoo. The reason for that is because it has, uh, it's a vasodilator, so when you're putting it on your hair, it's thought to, um, you know, to vasodilate, increase blood flow, and therefore increase hair, hair um, you know, hair growth to help people that are have thinning hair and, and hair loss. So that would be one reason uh, to possibly use it. We know that mint itself is great for freshening our breath. It's in a lot of the, the gums and mints that we have. Um, also, we can use it on our skin. Um, this, this mint itself is spearmint. And it, it's very good. It has um, vitamin A in it, and it has vitamin C in it, which are antioxidants. And we know that antioxidants help protect ourselves from the sun, and it also helps um, prevent further sun damage, such as like the age spots and, and wrinkling. So that would be another reason to use it. How we could use mint? Um, very simply, there's a few different ways. You could uh, chop it up and put it into water with some lemon. That would be one way of using it. You can actually even just cut up the leaves. You know, the leaves are themselves very thin, and all you have to do is, um, you know, chop them up and you can add a little bit of distilled water and put it on as a, a, a face mask. And you can leave that on anywhere from like 5 to 15 minutes. Um, what else could you do with it? You could um, use it as an exfoliator. You just take the leaves themselves, chop it up, and actually exfoliate the skin with it. The, um, the leaves, the spearmint leaves, they actually have salicylic acid in them. So that's really good as far as preventing, you know, it's in a lot of the over-counter products as far as acne products go. So it's just taking something like fresh mint leaves and, and putting it on your face. Always do a test patch first, right? You want to make sure that you're not sensitive to it and that there's no reactions. And always make sure that you're washing off those leaves. So um, if you're using fertilizers, all of that is washed away. I, I avoid fertilizers in my um, my garden. I just usually, um, I use, you know, stick with organic or I just use um, like basically a compost. So, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little video. There's a blog post that goes along with it. So I'll link that down below and have a great day. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll show you a quick link of some flowers that are in. Uh, the purple, those are the hostas and the reds. Those are the um, bee balm and I have some um, what I consider Montauk daisies but they're actually a little bit different but those are all perennials here and right behind me these pink uh, those are actually cone flowers and I love them they're so pretty they come back every year so um so anyway you can see I have to do some weeding here but I'm um, hope all is well and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend thanks so much bye bye